Hello everyone and welcome back to CountryCast. Country singer Granger Smith, who also personified the character of Earl Dibbles Jr. for several years, made a major announcement today regarding his career in country music. Smith turned to his social media earlier today and revealed that he will be putting aside his career in country music in order to forego his new path in ministry. In just a moment before we get to Granger's video, here is his caption along with the post where he wrote, This message is so difficult to post. The words for this caption are so hard to find. Not because I don't believe in the truth of them, but because this marks the end of the longest era in my life. Touring. 24 years of it. This summer will be my last tour. I am so encouraged and hopeful and excited and joyful about the next chapter. But to a large extent, I have no idea what it will look like. I just want to glorify God the best way that I can. I want to learn and grow and serve my local church and allow my pastors to equip and affirm those next steps. Lord willing, I want to be used to help people find their purpose. Now, here is Granger. Hey guys, I've been so nervous to make this video just because of the implications of what it means for my life and my family. But I'm making this video, I'm making this post to announce that this summer is my last ever tour. I have felt a strong desire to pursue ministry. And this doesn't mean I'm gonna start a church or a crusade or a revival. Um, this means that me and my family are gonna serve our local church. We're going to pour into that church as members and have my pastors and elders pour into me and disciple me and teach me as I, as I sit under their wise teaching. And then Lord willing, one day they can affirm me into the next steps of what that might look like to glorify God best from my platform. I've also been attending seminary, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, and that, that just takes a ton of, ton of time to pursue my MA there. Uh, but this is a time of learning and growing for me. And that that may explain to some of you why I've, I've, I've appeared maybe distant, especially to music lately. Um, I'm also, I have a book coming out August the 1st. It's called Like a River. I mean, it shouldn't surprise you what that book is about, but it's about from when I lost my son, Riv, to when we had Mav and everything in between that the Lord did in a radical way of opening my eyes. And that, that message is, is so important to tell. It's the most important piece of media that I could ever release, that I ever have released. And so it's going to take a lot of time for me to get out and Lord willing, do a, some kind of book tour to talk about that, to get it in front of as many people to, to hear that message because it's become a, a life mission for me. I know that a lot of y'all might not understand this at all. And maybe you'll be upset about it. Maybe you'll think that I'm deceiving you or that I'm following some sky god or or maybe maybe you think that it, I'm not relevant at all to, for it to even matter and, and that's okay that's not what this video is about this this video what I want to show you is that when I read Mark 8 in the Bible and Jesus says if anyone would come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me that, that image of taking up that cross the, the most gruesome form of of execution to take up that cross and follow and deny himself, that form of self-denial is something I'm just not doing. In country music, when I get up on a stage and just need glorification and need praise, and if I don't get it, then that means my career is not doing well, and, I, and so I'd work harder for that. I can't reconcile those two things, y'all. I can't, I, can't, I can't go to seminary and pursue ministry and be poured in by my pastors and elders and then go out on the weekends and try to be exalting myself. I, I, I think that's a contradiction. I'm not, this is not nothing against anyone else that can do music and succeed in denying themselves. I just, I'm not very good at it. So I, I, I want to be able to sacrifice and through that kind of sanctification, that layer of coming off of me as I, as I have learned and, and grow and, and glorify God. This is the next move I'm making. This this tour is going to go through about Labor Day 
and it's going to be all about you guys. It's going to be about playing the old songs that you've always wanted to hear and being able to show gratitude and just say thank you for for so many years. I've toured for 24 years. So you, could, you could see what a life change is, this is for me and how hard it is and, and yet so exciting and, and I'm so hopeful about this future and about about what it holds for me and my family. And Amber and I have been totally united on this. She's my best friend and she's my first counsel. We've been praying over this very video right here that I'm making. And I know there's gonna be a lot of questions and I'm gonna try to stay engaged and try to answer questions and I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be here. But I just wanted to get this off my chest out here in the woods to tell you guys that I love you. From the several hits that he gave us as himself and the many laughs that he shared with us as Earl Dibbles Jr., we say thank you, Granger, and are sending out our best wishes and many blessings to you and your family as you navigate this new chapter in your life. As Granger noted, he will finish out his final tour this year with the last date on his website reflecting August 26th out at Billy Bob's, Texas. And what a venue to close it all out at. Again, thank you, Granger Smith. That will be all for today's video.